We are in a place called Las Palmillas. This is in the Guerrero state, the Estado Guerrero. I don't know if we've ever uh, been hiking here before. And I'm not sure what to expect. The town itself, Las Palmillas, is incredibly tiny, like a dot. And this is maybe not really a hike, but more of a, more of a swim, as you can see behind me. This beautiful river, this is fed by, uh, by a Borboyon, uh, which is like a spring. I think the, the, the water is, it's not a hot spring, it's warm. I think this is the same river that when, when we go to uh, Agua Salada, which we've done many, many times. I think it's from that same Borboyon, the same source. Uh, it looks pretty long and pretty cool. As I said, first time here, not just here in this place, but I think first kind of activity in this state in Guerrero and it's uh, what time is it it's 10 22 in the morning we just had a little something to eat eat in the in the village and how much does this place cost to get in do you know it's probably no idea. 80 pesos I'd guess yeah, something like I'm gonna guess yeah we're gonna go pay here I'm gonna guess it's around 80 pesos and it looks like there's nobody here there's this pickup truck here and no sign of people, which is good. I smell food cooking. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Mole, what is that? I'm not sure what that is. Well, 120 is much more than I thought. I wonder if we got the the tourist price. Ah, that's the total 120. Yeah. Uh, 60 pesos each. Okay. It has this. Oh, that's a very fair price. <clears throat> yeah. So it looks like this nice blue water is the swimming area. Then there's so they've got it kind of dammed off here, and the river goes on farther back there. There's an evil eye hanging in the tree. Oh, nice place. And yeah, there's not one person here. Lots of people selling stuff. But that's it. And they call it La Posa 2024. Last year it was La Posa 2023. I guess they change every year. I saw some pictures of it. And they just change the year. Each year. Another evil eye. Is it like agua salada? Uh, no, this is, maybe, this is a little bit colder. A little colder? It's not cold. Is it like the river in Tehuisla a couple of weeks ago? Maybe something like that. Yeah. Around there? Let me go see what this water feels like. Alright, let me check here. Whoops. That's ah, not bad. That's tolerable for me.
I'll go take a look down here. I don't think there's too much to see. I was just talking to a woman who works here. I guess, I don't know if she saw me recording and wanted to tell me, but she said there are five Borboyones here. Those are the, the springs that, that feed the river. There are five of them. Um, she said the deepest part is up there by that tree. It's about two meters. She said it gets very crowded on weekends. People from Cuernavaca, Mexico City, all around here. Only open from February through June, which is when the rainy season starts, the river becomes unswimmable. At that point, just like Agua Salada, my favorite place, it, it just gets, uh, you know, the water's gonna move really fast. All this, you know, dry dirt now gets gets washed into the river and funks it up. This is probably all covered in water by the end of June. And I guess there's some giant iguanas around here. And a hundred years, she said this place has been around for a hundred years. I think I'll go back. Try this way.
Setting up camp here? Yep. I'm going to move around a bit. It's not that big. It looks very blue, yeah, almost unnaturally blue. Yeah, nice color. Yep. Oh, I gotta go up this way. And you want to be my latex salesman. Maybe. Last of all, there's like one. There's one one group here, a family of. Uh, well, it's a Mexican family, so probably about 27 of them. How's the water for you, the temperature? Good to swim. Is it okay? Not good to chill, but good to swim. A what? A coffee? Your coffee is coming finally? I recorded a coffee like two hours ago. We're still waiting for it. Oh, yeah, there. No, that looks like a transparent glass with a clear liquid in it. Should be here any hour.
another family here now. What time is it? It's 11.27 a.m. We've been here for about an hour. Cool place. Ah, those white things that you can eat? Yeah. Oh, those taste good. Yeah, those are around for not very long. We saw them yeah. <coughs> last year at Agua Salada, and I went the week later, and they were all gone. Very clear, yeah. It's funny how the color doesn't come out as much here, though. I guess it's because they painted it white, yeah, that it's... The it's white super, reflects super everything? Blue. It's still got a bit of a blue hue, yeah? Yeah, right in the middle here. Yeah. Where is it? It's just at the bottom of that tree. Ah, it's right blue. here. Yeah, look at that. Super, super blue. Let me see if I can see that closer.
this is Bacalandia. There's like 15, 20 cows here. Probably that many more over here. One horse. I hear music and laughter down here. Yeah, still clear water. Oh yeah, I see a little tiny, tiny waterfall up there. 100 meters maybe. Oh, this looks like a pretty good wide open swimming area. Where are you going, Monson? Yeah, down river from all the cow shit. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say uh, I prefer to swim where I have the uh, for the others. Ah, uh, cool. Oh, I see another, it uh, looks like higher up. Yep. Somebody's got a snorkel on. This is the great thing about Mexico. It's 127 on a Monday afternoon and uh, you get people like this. Buenas tardes. Que tal? 
Ah, look at these people having a good time. It's a family here. They got uh, kids. I see floaties, water wings, food. There's sure to be beer and tequila. Chairs. These people put a lot of effort to get down here. They got a comal for cooking here. Very cool. Buenas tardes. Oh, I love this. Happy Monday. You got the abuelo there in the shade. And as always, lots of green around the water. Yep. Totally different. Ah, they got it. This is like a man made wall here. Uh huh. Huh. I saw that further down as well. This whole road is kind of propped up with this big man made wall. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe it's like a retaining wall. I guess it holds it from collapsing, reinforces it. Let's see what's over here. No crocodilians here that we know of anyway. There are crocodiles in this state, but not here. Cool. I'll say again, what a nice way it is to spend a Monday like this. I'm from Canada, and it, 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 maybe it's zero degrees in Toronto. I don't know, it could be 20 degrees, but it's not 36 degrees as it is here in wherever we are, somewhere in Guerrero, Palmillas. I don't know if we're still there, but this is an excellent, excellent way to spend a Monday, or any day for that matter. Yeah, the tracks. Yep. Eric and I were just talking about, and he noticed that there's some some wood, I guess they're like railroad ties across here. You see them um, occasionally. Is there any here I can show? No. Uh, so I guess at some point this is a railroad. And you got to explain like that big wall you had to keep it. Uh... Yeah. And all of a sudden it's green. Everything has looked like this. We haven't had rain for like four months. And then there's what is this? Do you know? Really? It's it's low, no? It's I guess it's uh sugarcane maybe. Kind of this tall grass, yeah. So maybe still short sugar cane. I would love to get up there, no? That one? Yeah. Maybe, maybe I can not I kind of enjoy this. No, not Maybe today. Walk next not to today, but but sometime. Uh -huh. That's the one. What's this 
We came from here. There's this little tiny house here. I don't know if these are their, their crops over here. There's another house here. A bunch of cows. This great mountain, which I would like to get to the top of sometime. Maybe we can make that happen sometime. And now we're on a paved road. We're going to walk to, there's a village up here. So I think it's about two kilometers from where we started at the, the river, the Posa. Um, so we're going to, there are a few houses around here. We're going to check out this little village right here in Estado Guerrero. We've reached this village with this nice pink house. This is called Tepetlapa, still in Guerrero State. It's quite nice the way we uh, talk about this. I especially love, we're gonna go to this church up here. I always love these, uh, you know, these towns, they're, they're poor and they're maybe not pretty in the conventional sense, but I always think that they're, I think they're very beautiful and quite charming in many cases. They got beautiful palm trees. They got public transportation. They got dogs. They got Eric. Look at that. Everybody's very friendly. The clock is functional. And correct.
We've stopped in the town arcade for some, uh, some drinking, some hardcore gaming I think we're going to do, as well as some ice cold, refreshing Coca-Cola. Oh yes, on a hot day, it's, uh, it was reported to be 40 degrees, so I don't know if it's quite, nah, maybe it is probably around there. It did say 40 though, so we're, uh, we're heading back to the, uh, to the river. We're back here at the river, that was, uh, about 33 minutes to walk there from where we drank that, hola, from where we drank that, uh, or I drank that Coke. Um, yeah, so we went to that little village called Tepet Lapa, I think that's what it's called. Si, si, si. Habla de inglés? No. And I was saying to Eric, what a, what a nice, what a treat it is for me to, I didn't know that we were going to be walking there. I thought we were just going to walk a couple minutes. We walked, that was I think close to, close to two hours. And what a nice treat it is to walk with no backpack, no shirt. I've got water shoes on. Uh, but nice to not have to carry anything and not be hindered. I actually left my backpack with all my money, all my riches, all my loot is here just sitting there for any, I can still see it here, all right. Here's my backpack over there. Yeah, all my money is in there, everything. And uh, I trust my paisanos to not take it. Let's see if they, I hope they didn't disappoint me. But it, it looks like it's rather hola. And yeah, that was that, what I, I would even say this is turning out to be one of my favorite hikes of the year. We we had just planned to come to the river. We didn't know that you could uh, hike to this to this village, Tepet Lapa. And so we did that. It, it would you know it would have been cool to just come to the river, but I like and I think Eric likes too when you can add a bonus. If you can add walking to the equation. Everything becomes much better. So you take a break, you get hot. As I said, it's supposed to be around 40 degrees today. More people here than earlier. And you get heated up. And then you can come and dip in the river. Ah, did you see that guy go off the tree? Oh, he's got water wings on, I think. Oh no, just a puffy shirt. Ah, maybe I'll try that. So the water looks a little bit different now because of the light, uh, the sun. Uh, very cool. I will, uh, or we, I don't know if Eric will, I want to take a dip again and cool off. It's quite hot. Yeah, still a surprising number of people here, eh? For a Monday, there's what, maybe, uh, maybe 40, 50 people here? Yeah. This palapa is full of people. All right. So that's it from this place. This is whatever I said it's called. La Posa. Balneario, La Posa, La Posa. 2024, whatever it is. That's all. We're going back now. Took a little dip here for a couple minutes. You know what, this is, this is one of my favorites of the year, I think. I liked it a lot. That hike changed everything. We we're going to have a good time just in the river, but the hike really improved everything. That was a amazing bonus. So we're at the car now and uh, driving back to Cuernavaca. That's all from uh, right here in Guerrero State. See ya.